five. Stop, waste, and listen. Hello, how are you today? I hope you're doing fine. Are you ready to learn science stuff? Great! But before we start our lesson, I want you to prepare yourself as well as your materials necessary for your study. Try to find a nice and comfortable place inside your home where you can focus with our lesson. For this week's lesson, we're going to answer three questions. Number one, what are the five R's in waste management? Number two, how are we going to minimize the waste materials that we have? Number three, what is the effect to us humans and environment if we minimize the waste materials at home? What are the five R's in waste management? Five R's in waste management. It stands for reduce, reuse, recycle, recover, and repair. It is important in protecting the environment and the living things inhibiting it. Proper waste management also reduces pollution. Reduce To lessen the amount of waste produced. Reuse To use the material for the same or another purpose. Recycle Turning materials into its raw form and usually into new products. Recover Restore waste or old materials to make it useful. Repair, fixing old or waste materials so that it can be used again. What is waste segregation? Waste segregation is the process of separating waste into biodegradable and non-biodegradable materials. What is biodegradable waste? Biodegradable waste. Waste materials usually from living things and may undergo decomposition. What is non-biodegradable waste? Non-biodegradable waste. Waste materials that do not undergo decomposition. How are we going to minimize the waste materials that we have? Number one, use a reusable bottle or cup for beverages on the go. Number two, use reusable grocery bags and not just for groceries. Number three, purchase wisely and recycle. Number four, compost it. Number five, avoid single-use food and drink containers and utensils. Number six, buy second-hand items and donate used goods. Number seven, Shop local farmers markets and buy in bulk to reduce packaging. Number eight, control your use of paper, mail, receipts, or magazines. What is the effect to us humans and environment if we minimize the waste materials at home? Number one, we can reduce the amount of pollution release. Number two, we can make money from waste materials. Number three, it can create more jobs and stronger economy for our country. And number four, it practice discipline in each one of us. I hope you learned a lot from our lesson for this week. See you again in our next one. Bye!